everyone, I am back with one of your favorite hauls. We have a grocery haul. Not only a grocery haul, but a grocery outlet haul. Because I know y'all like those. Alright. Oh, first I found this little plant. Really pretty. I like the green and the white. Got to find my planter and get this planted so it don't die like my succulent did. Got a loaf of bread. Yeah, it's higher there than the Dollar Tree. But we didn't go to the Dollar Tree. And I needed some bread. Found some of that. I love the, um, I think it's called like Butcher's Cut or whatever. Lunch and meat is big old thick hunks of meat. Yeah, so I got some of that so I needed some bread. I got some Frost Krispy Treats. It's, the top is cut, but the bag's not cut. Got these, or got some Rice Krispies. I'm gonna make some treats with these. These were three forty nine. They're good till April. See, that actually wasn't that much better than Walmart. I really should have just bought them at Walmart. But some. Chi cheese, rounds, tortilla chips. These were dollar thirty nine. Got some poppycock. <laughs> I can't ever say that without laughing. Um, it's the pecan delight. I love pecans. Did I say pecan? Lord, it's pecan. Um, they had. Pepperidge Farms cookies. These were the Ginger Man or Ginger Man. I don't say bread, just Ginger Man. And these are good till March. And to only be a dollar and the you know the retail price on there's three eighty nine. That's fantastic. We also got the Brussels Mint Distinctive Cookies, limited edition. These were normally three eighty nine. And I've got it for a dollar. I was just reading this on here. There's this little sticker. Okay, this says this merchandise is part of our regular production, but due to shelf life restrictions, can no longer be shipped for distribution in ordinary manner. Pepperidge Farms Incorporated wants you to be aware of this to ensure you're satisfied with your purchase. So basically I'm guessing they're saying that they can't ship these to regular grocery stores because they have a, they're only good till March. And they're Christmas cookies. So, I don't know. We got another thing of the Brussels cookie. Um, got some turkey stove top for 75 cents. And this is good till December 2020. So, got some fettuccine from Myers. Is that how you said it? Meyer? We don't got that down here. <laughs> anyway, it was. Um, 69 cents. Oh, and it's good till 2021. Got some dat sauce. A little bit of hot with a whole lot of flavor. All natural hot sauce. They were two for a dollar. Got some cinnamon spice tea. I've been wanting orange spice tea. I can't find it, so I'm just gonna have to just live with just cinnamon. Tony got some Faina sausages. I don't know how much they were. Same as the dollar for okay. Two for a dollar. Got two bottles of Minute Maid lemonade. Tony 
wanted to try these cheesy potatoes, Velveeta mashed potatoes. They were $1.49. We'll see if they're any good. I don't normally like instant potato stuff, but we'll try them. That's some of this Alley Cat tea, mint flavored, the original fruit tea, 48% juice. They were three for a dollar, so I figured I'd try them. A Southern Original Juice Blend and Black Tea developed at the Alley Cafe and Quenching Thirst since 2002. Filtered water, pure cane sugar, orange juice concentrate, pineapple juice concentrate, lemon juice concentrate, tea concentrate, citric acid, absorbic acid, natural mint flavor. Got some self rising flour. Oh, the tea is good till February 27th. Flour is good till November of next year, I mean, of this year. Chocolate graham cracker crumbs. These were $1.39 and they're good to March. Ooh, ooh, flour. Flour's going everywhere. You're gonna have to hand me those bags, please. I want my pants. I don't think that's going to make it over here. I got some paper plates, 24 count, from Tops. I never heard of Tops. And these were $1.49. Eighty-five trash bags with a drawstring top. These were uh, well. I know these had a price on them. <laughs> they were like five dollars and something like five ninety-nine or something like that. Yeah, probably came off. some bananas. These bags are really crappy. <laughs> they have really crappy bags. Got some butcher's cut chicken and baked beans. They were a dollar. They're good too. June. And I got some pork and baked beans. They're good. Also a dollar and these are good till April. And the last thing, well, I also got some stuff in the refrigerator. I'll just tell you what those were. Um, Prego savory bacon, Alfredo sauce. We've had this before. Dollar seventy nine. That's good to you. August of twenty twenty. So I also got in the refrigerator, they had Lean Cuisine French Bread Pizzas for a dollar. That's half the price that I pay at Walmart. Um, the thick, really super thick cut chicken from Oscar Mayer, I think it is. And what else? Oh, a gallon of Tropicana orange juice for $2.89. Oh, sugar cookies, because they're Christmas. <laughs> um, they were two for a dollar. The refrigerator break and bake ones were good for several months. They just have to get rid of them because, you know, they're Christmassy. I don't care what's on them. They eat just as well. 
two pounds of yeah they do, do they do eat just as well um two pounds a little the little wiener sausage <laughs> what? yeah the little smokies beef ones um what was it like 3.99 but we'll get four meals out of that so huge package yeah it's packaged about that big um but yeah i think that's it we went to walmart but we really the only interesting thing we got at walmart is we got a ton of candy cane <laughs> oh but they were like how much were all for they 90 percent no, they were still just 75. 75, yeah. Yeah. But I hadn't even seen Brock's green apple candy canes. And I was like, ooh, we're going to get some of those. I love green apple. All right, that's it. I'm going to put this stuff up. <laughs> Which is laughable in its own right. <laughs> we can't find our kitchen. Not only was there a lot of holiday food bought at Christmas and New Year's and then we didn't get to eat most of it because, well, you all know what we've been going through. Um, I inherited, well, Tony inherited a bunch of kitchen stuff. And oh my God, there's this one Pyrex piece. Oh, it's like, I saw it, I was like, be still my heart. It's the 1960s and it's just... I'd never seen that pattern. And what's funny thing was, I got that, and then like a couple days later, Scott from Scott's Old Curiosity Shop showed a dish that he has that's that same pattern. But anyway, we've got to figure out where to put all this awesome stuff, and we can't find our kitchen floor. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's getting a little bit frustrating, though. So... I'm going to go find my kitchen, and I should do a video. <laughs> Tony's like, no. <laughs> oh, anyway, um, be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss a video, and we'll see you next time. Bye.